Hi everyone, my name is Justin and I am here to show you the essential brushes for the All That Glitters pack for Painter and Particle Shop. In this brush pack, of course, we're looking at brushes that add glitter to your glitter, glimmer to your picture. Pretty self-explanatory. However, each one of these brushes, as you can see here, have a different way of expressing that. Um, <clears throat> we have everything from this simple light ray to something that is more uh, you know, of a water effect. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these brushes and I'll make my way down the list. We're going to start off with bubbles and this one is really um, self-explanatory but kind of fun to play with. You can kind of just take this and I recommend adding a darker, more saturated color and it kind of just spins some bubbles out for you, especially if you just tap it, especially on a large basis here. The smaller you get, the thicker they're going to be, but the bigger you get, I recommend again just a light tap and it's going to add some cool bubble effect to your image. Let's go ahead and go on to Glimmer here. In Glimmer, we've got something that is expressive as far as light, just like this top ray over here or one of these. However, it's got a little more sway to it. So let's go ahead and go to a corner of a building that doesn't have any Glimmer on it. And as you can see, if I just tap that, it's kind of got the same nature but with some rays of light that bend and curve. Um, this is really great if you need something a little more mystical. Uh, you want to add a little more focus upon something uh, or you have something that's more inter interesting that you want to add a different kind of light to. Um, we're going to move on to Iceberg. This was inspired by uh, some ice that I saw that was melting on the surface. And this is for more of a, a surfacey glimmer on things. You'll never see ice melt um, within. Uh, if you do, you know, you can't really see it. Um, Let's go ahead and you know go over to an ice color here. And you can kind of see that's kind of like the surface of ice. You know, I recommend using this on the surface of anything that's kind of wet or cold. Um, just a way to add some some glimmer to something if you've got something in your image, especially in the winter time, and you want to add that that nice cold glimmer to it. Let's move on to pop right here. And Pop is a pretty neat brush. This adds some light that bursts away from the subject. I re don't recommend using it in something that's in the distance. As you can see, if I were to add this like this, it can add an effect only really because there's some light here. But let's say I added something to right here. It's kind of a little weird. This doesn't really match up to this this building in the distance. So again, I recommend it. I recommend it to something that has some light already. Or uh, is is a little more is a little more close because uh, again it's it's got that that light that just kind of bursts around from the subject there. So let's move on to pure and this is the light ray we've been seeing up here in the buildings and this one you can you can be pretty 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 gray on and I recommend just tapping it if you press it too hard it's kind of just a ball of light. So just very lightly press it. You know, light should be a gentle thing. Or you can use something a little more saturation. Let's go ahead and move down here to these more distant buildings. I'm going to add a, a little glimmer with some saturation. Let's add it to that one. You can see that's much different and a lot more expressive. Um, I like it a little more, but sometimes it doesn't apply if it's, uh, if it's already kind of low in color like the top of this building here. So let's move on to shine. And this one is very fun. It's kind of like pure what you just saw, but you can kind of add a little more expressiveness to it. It's almost like the combination of pure and let's see, what was it? Yeah, glimmer in the fact that it's, you know, it's got a little more expression, but still stays straight. You can kind of see it, it goes from low opacity and then these little these little bursts kind of kind of fade out pretty hard. It's almost like a little firework and it's kind of fun to play with and watch. You know, I get pretty mesmerized by just watching this and playing with these on a canvas. You can even add a little direction to it. Um, I don't know in what circumstance you would use that with. Maybe you could use it in like a you know alien sunset or something. Um, let's move on to sky over here. Uh, this one is particularly made because a lot of times we'll have a lot of glimmer down here um, and 
our sky is pretty smooth, especially if we've airbrushed or painted it in or airbrushed part of a cloud away um, by any means. Uh, this adds a little texture to that. And of course, it's a glow brush. So we're, I'm going to show you what this is like in the dark up here, which is really where you'd want to use it. It's a smooth area that maybe just you just want to add a little glimmer to your sky and not have it so dull compared to the rest of the of the image if you are kind of on the fence of overdoing it. And again, you can kind of see just this light texture. Um, and you maybe even don't even want to use it that hard. Maybe it's just a subtle texture that you want to use professionally, uh, just like that. You can kind of see if I go back and forth, you can kind of see the difference there. Uh, pretty useful if you're trying to stay organic and, and realistic uh, at the same time while maintaining a lot of effects. Let's move on to where are we at? Sky. We're going to go to trail. All right. So this brush right here is pretty tricky because if you press and then you go, you've got this hard light at the beginning of it. But if you start off soft and if you go along, let's, let's up the saturation on that. Start off soft and you go along, you've got this nice organic light trail. You kind of make go through the city or whatever it is, almost like a little Tinker Bell. Whoops. We can kind of make that go through, and then I recommend just barely fading off it, just kind of kicking off the gas slowly, and it helps to add a nice organic line. It's just a pretty basic thing if if you want to add you know some light following something, uh, a little a little spaceship or uh, something that needs a a mystical uh, magic effect like you know like the wands in Disney or something let's go ahead and look at water here and we've got some water down here and what this really is is a lot of times when we have a, uh, um, a picture with a lot of light um, in, in the summertime we want to add a little splash of water or something or maybe there's some water already there we can kind of splash some throughout the picture you know uh, this is pretty cool because it seems to catch the edges of things you can see you know these buildings are pretty square but as I, as I do this, if, if you do it right, you can kind of make the water just a tad bit more believable than you typically could, especially if you, let's go back here. I should have done this on a new layer. Let's add this on a new layer. And, you know, now let's fade some of that away. You can kind of see I kind of made these little water particles that kind of come through. Uh, so that's that's pretty useful. If you've already got water, you want to add to it, or at least add to the glimmer. And the last one we have is light scrub. And this one is very, very similar to our sky, our sky particle. But this one is really for, let's say we've got this building over here, and we just want these little shimmers. If you remember being a kid and they had those little cartoons where in a magical, you know, Jetson style building, they'll have like those little glimmers that kind of animate on and off. This is a more realistic version of that so that we can have, you know, just those nice little subtle make a building stand out. Kind of fun to play with. Anyways, that is it for the essential brush pack for the All That Glitters. Um, for paint, Painter and Particle Shop, I'm really excited to see what people uh, make with these since these are so um, kind of basic as far as just adding light, uh, but, but very expressive. Uh, again, very excited to see what you guys make. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.